Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John. Today I have a new album review. The name of the band is called Agent Steel and the album was called No Other Gods Before Me. So before I begin, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do rock and metal reviews, rankings, and a lot more. Agent Steel is a speed metal band from Los Angeles, California. They formed in 1984 by vocalist John Cyrus and drummer Chuck Profus. The band released uh, two full-length albums. They're called uh, Skeptics Apocalypse in 1985 and Unstoppable Force in 1987. They also released an EP called Mad Locust Rising in 1986. The band is a speed metal band, so they have many uh, fast tempos in their songs. And the songs can be both catchy and melodic. There are a lot of riffs. And John Cyrus has a really high-pitched vocal style. The band also has an interest in outer space and UFOs. Now this is something that I liked because a lot of uh, thrash bands or metal bands at that time had lyrics dealing with like Satanism or anti-Christianity. Now even though this album does have some like occult themes, the band mostly writes about UFOs and aliens, so I thought that was very cool. It makes them stand out from other bands and they are just a really old school classic heavy metal band. The band broke up in 1988, but they are uh, reformed in 1998. But without John Cyrus this time, even though he did return in 2010, only to leave again in 2011. But then they released a few more albums and John Cyrus returned in 2018. So this means that this is the first Agent Steel album in 14 years and the first in 34 years with John Cyrus. So to be honest, when I first started listening to this album, I didn't like it for some reason. The high-pitched vocal style didn't appeal to me at first, but the more I listened, the more I realized that they are a really good band. They have some pretty catchy riffs, fast rhythms, and they are a really good metal band, and they really did grow on me. I also went back to listen to their 1985 debut, and it was a very heavy album. It was fast, tons of riffs. There was plenty of good songs. So I really did enjoy that album. No Other Gods Before Me seems like a continuation of their like 1987 album, Unstoppable Force. And it's almost as like they recorded it in 1989 and the album fell into a wormhole and, and came out in 2021. So if you thought that was a cheesy science fiction reference, that is pretty much the essence of this band in general. The album starts off with Passage to Aphron 5. It's uh, an instrumental, has a spoken word passage in a strange language. It appears to be an alien language. I mean, I may be wrong, maybe it's a foreign language. So if it's a language you recognize, please let me know in the comments. We hear some uh, melodic twin guitar playing and it just sets the stage for the album. This is just a short instrumental. Next song is Crips of Galactic Damnation. This song kicks off with some fast riffing. The vocals come in. You know, John's vocals reminded me a little of like Halloween, you know, very high, like a power metal range. And the song is definitely filled with some shredding solos. Next is the title track, No Other Gods Before Me. The song is very thrashy. And I think this is where uh, the album really starts to get good. The verse section is very fast and the riffs are tight. The song features many uh, extended guitar solos. After that is Trespassers. So this is a very fast song, has some fast riffs, some high speed tempos. You hear some slight tempo changes, but the band never takes a break to slow down. And um, I also like the part in the chorus when I are saying like Trespassers over and over again. I thought that was kind of cool and I thought that was kind of catchy. After that is The Devil's Greatest Trick. I feel this was more reminiscent of a classic thrash metal song. It reminded me a little of the band Forbidden, and I'm a big fan of the band Forbidden. I really love their, their albums. And the riffs on the song are very crunchy. After that is a Sonata Cosmica, and it starts off with some like heavy like neoclassical metal playing, goes straight into a fast like 80s style thrash song song is packed with heavy riffs and fast drum beats. After that is Veterans of Disaster. 
There's some cool uh, echo effects in the opening riff. Another uh, fast-paced song, and you do hear a little bit of like an early Queensryche influence on this song as well. After that is a Carousel of Vagrant Souls. Another song reminding me a little of early Megadeth with the riffs. Again, very fast song, very heavy, just playing at breakneck speed. After that is a song called The Incident. The song has some very fast rhythms, complex riffs, and the song is sung in either a foreign language that I don't know, or maybe an alien language. Again, if it's a language that you recognize, please let, let me know. And then we have Outer Space Connection. I felt the song has a little bit of like a punk vibe or a crossover thrash. That was just kind of the vibe I got. The vocals on this song um, do kind of get a little like in the lower range of time, but the high pitched vocals are very prominent. And the album ends basically the same way it begins with an instrumental called Entrance to Afron 5. Has some neoclassical playing and some spoken word sections, so I thought that was pretty cool. And um, in conclusion, I thought this was a good album in general. I think the album would appeal to a heavy metal fan who likes the songs played with very fast tempos and heavy riffs. It kind of reminded me of an album like Rain and Blood by Slayer, just one of those albums that just takes off and doesn't slow down at all. Uh, me personally, I probably would have uh, preferred to have a, a few more maybe like slower melodic breakdowns here and there. But this is the band that prides itself on fast riffs and tempos. I think this would be a perfect album to listen to while at the gym doing some intense cardio. This album is also perfect for fans of that old school uh, 80s speed metal or thrash metal. The album really does sound like it was recorded in the late 80s. You know, I didn't hear any like modern production techniques, just fast guitars, fast rhythms, fast solos. And if you like that type of music, you would definitely like this album a lot. I will give this album a final score of an 8 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, have you heard this album? What do you think of the band Agent Steel? So let's get a conversation going. That is it. I will be working on... Uh, I have another uh, anniversary tomorrow, which I uh, won't tell you what it is, but I'll surprise you with that. I will follow up on my March Madness on Tuesday and take it from there. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos that will be linked right over there. And I will uh, see you in the next one.